Hello everyone and welcome to EU People. We received today Marguerite Skinnes, Chief Spokesperson of the European Commission. We will talk about some of the main topics that we have seen spread online, but especially about himself. We will even play some games so we can meet the person behind the suit. So enjoy, relax, this is EU People. Here is Margarita Skinnes, Greek from Thessaloniki, 55 years old and a life dedicated to the EU. Some people here in the corridor call him Terminator and he doesn't like to be called a Eurocrat. So Margaritis, welcome. Hi, Pablo. Hello, Margaritis. How are you? Are you a Eurocrat? No, I'm not a Eurocrat. I'm a European civil servant. I hate the word Eurocrat because it has the, the, the Greek root kratos in it, which means power. I don't conceive our job in terms of power. I prefer the notion of service. It suits us more. Okay, how, how, how did you end up here? How did you become spokesperson of the European <laughs> Commission? Because it's not something that you dream about when you're a kid. No, but uh, when uh, Greece joined the European communities, I was about to enter university. So I felt that this was the call of my generation. I'm a believer. I, I didn't come for the salary. I, uh, from the very start, I thought that this is a generational call uh, for someone my age. So I, in a way, prepared my way to Brussels and I'm delighted that it worked out well. Okay, and what, what are you doing when you're not wearing a tie? Because I was expecting you even today not wearing a tie, but I can see you, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that I have never seen you without a tie. Okay, let's, let's make a start. <laughs> let's start okay, by taking good. the tie off. But just the tie. Off. I, I <laughs> hope the mic I won't mind. No, I, um, I often uh, do not wear a tie, but I think that when I come uh, in the commission uh, as a visible uh, face, if you like, and the voice of the commission, I owe it a bit to, to the uh, image of the institution to wear a tie, but I can assure you that I am also a non-tie person. I can become one, if you like. <laughs> and and you, you're mentioning, that, well, you have been the voice, in a way, of the, of the institution for, for, for some years already, and you have been facing journalists, in a way, answering their questions uh, every day in the press room. Uh, has there been any of those that you kind of remember, like saying, I just want to get out of here? No, no. I never, I never had the sense of uh, take me out of here. Each day is different. Uh, in a way, this is the beauty of this job, that uh, you can never plan enough because we live in, a, in, in an age where the news cycle is 24-7. And even if you prepare as, as much as you can and as best as you can, uh, reality very often uh, does not align with your planning. So. Uh, I enjoyed every single moment, both the good ones and the bad ones. What about your family when they see you on television? They, you know, point out mistakes or they tough on you or...? No, they don't, they don't. Um, my family here in Brussels, I think they are very uh, understanding about the difficulties of this job, so they, they don't sort of bring it at home. My parents uh, back uh, home, they seem to be more interested in the way I look rather than <laughs> what I say, which is understandable uh, from the parents' point of view. <laughs> and actually, before going to the, to, the, to the press room, you well, have every day a meeting or a breakfast, a dine with the president. Can you tell us something that we don't know about it, how these conversations develop? Well, the president, who is, I think, by now very known to, to our staff, is uh, a nice person. He's a good guy. He, he has empathy, he listens, and he's uh, one of the few politicians, uh, at least I know, that uh, would uh, ask you about your family, your parents, your uh, children. He, has, he takes a personal interest in people, which is uh, an asset. An asset for the top person in a huge uh, administration like ours. Uh, uh, it is important that uh, uh, the lead figure is a person who listens and, and, and who can act beyond the traditional boundaries of, of a politician. Juncker is, is a nice guy, take it from me. 
and and because it's not only the president, of course, you have met also a lot of uh, prime minister. Uh, to me, one or two that you have, you know, you have been impressed with, you know. Well, I impressed is uh, too big, <laughs> too big a word for this thing. But I think I, I, I have uh, met recently. Uh, I, I will tell you one from our, from from within, and one from outside the, the European Union. I have met recently Alexander Vucic, which is who is the Serbian president. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the youngest MEP, the youngest minister, the youngest prime minister, now the youngest president of Serbia ever. He uh, he is a very interesting uh, person uh, with a very clear sense of uh, European perspective for his country. He has the vision to take uh, Serbia closer to Europe, but he's also a bit like Juncker, uh, someone with uh, empathy. He would uh, make you feel comfortable, he will take an interest in you, he will share with you his thoughts. So, uh, And from within, uh, Emmanuel Macron, I think, is, is also one of, of, of the kind. Uh, I had the chance to, uh, together with President Juncker, to, to see him recently and travel with him on a certain uh, missions. He also, uh, not only, of course, he's a true believer in, in Europe and in the uh, value of European integration, but I also like in him that he uh, finds a way to make each one of the people around him feel important. That's also an asset for a politician. He would, has a, he would have a personal comment on everybody. He turned to me and said, are you still doing a midday briefing? <laughs> <laughs> OK, I, and you answered yes, of yes, course, to those. Said, <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> Is it going to be like the legacy of this Juncker Commission? Saving Greece, keeping the Euro and the Eurozone strong and united, materializing an ambitious investment program of uh, enormous scale that was missing from our economic political uh, mix, the intelligent application of the Stability and Growth Pact, that brought all our economies back to growth and to record high employment, and the first meaningful attempt to create a true, holistic EU migration policy. These will be the legacy elements of this Commission, I think. Any kind of skills that the next president of the Commission should have? Yes, I think three mainly. First, he has to be a believer. He has to believe in Europe. Otherwise, this job cannot be done. The second, I would say, he has to be a rassembleur. He has to be, he or she, or she. has to be someone able to rally around uh, him or her a broader majority. I don't think that the Commission can be uh, partisan. And the third uh, quality of the future president would be we, we would look for a person with a certain physical resistance because being people uh, traveling all the time, shuttling around, it's, it's not something easy. So I, these are the three conditions. Okay, okay, that's interesting. So now that we, that we have been able to meet you uh, a, bit, a bit closer, a bit more, uh, let's go to the political arena. A bit. I'm going to, to ask you a bunch of questions, okay, that you will have to answer yes or no, and it's going to be in 59 seconds. Okay, let's play. So, we're starting in three, two, one. Does Brexit means Brexit? Yes. Is the EU a safer place to live in than four years ago? Yes. Will the EU implement the Paris Agreement no matter what? Yes. Is Merkel dictating the present and future of the EU? No. Are there any political prisoners in the European Union? No. Is the EU doing enough regarding migration? No. Is the EU banning kebabs? Certainly no. <laughs> Does the Commission want to build a EU superstate? No. Will the euro be the coin used by all member states eventually? Yes. Is social media damaging democracy? No. Are we in a trade war? No. Is the future of Europe more Europe? Mm, that's a difficult one. Um... 
We're done. <laughs> Thank you, Margaritis. <laughs>